UFC 285 took place on March 3rd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The main event featured the former two-time light heavyweight champion John Jones in a heavyweight title fight against the former interim champ Cyril Gaon. The co-main saw women's flyweight champ Valentina Shevchenko attempt to defend her title for the eighth time against contender Alexa Grasso. Welcome to MMA Money, hit the like button if you enjoy the video, let's jump into the first fight. The main card kicked off with a middleweight bout that featured the highly anticipated UFC debut of contender series vet Bo Nickel taking on Jamie Pickett. As many expected, Nickel used his championship wrestling to take the fight to the ground quickly and got the finish via arm triangle choke in the first round. Pickett took home $56,000, while Nickel earned a $50,000 performance of the night bonus and a total of $90,000. In the second fight, number 7 ranked lightweight Mateusz Gamra defeated number 10 Jalen Turner by split decision in a close fight. Turner earned $61,000, while Gamra earned a win bonus and took home a total of $138,000. The third fight was a catchweight bout between Shavkat Rachmanov and Jeff Neal. It was no easy night for Rachmanov as both fighters displayed their striking and landed hard shots against their opponents. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe for the better part of three rounds until Shavkat was able to secure a standing rear naked choke to seal the victory. Because of his weight miss, Neal was fined 30% of his fight purse, taking home $49,000 guaranteed. And although fighters that miss weight are not eligible for bonuses, Dana White stated at the press conference, when you don't make weight, you don't get the bonus no matter what happens. There's no way in hell I wasn't going to give that kid the bonus tonight. Meaning that Neal would take home the extra 50k for a total of 105000 and the winner, Shavkat Rachmanov, earned his win bonus along with Neil's forfeited purse and a fight of the night bonus for a total of $155,500. The co-main event featured a women's flyweight title fight between the defending champ Valentina Shevchenko and the number six contender Alexa Grasso. Seemingly unstoppable in her last seven defenses, Valentina looked to be headed towards another victory until late in the fourth round when Grasso was able to quickly take her back after a missed spinning kick, sink in a choke, and get the finish by submission. Shevchenko took home $400,000 to show, $42,000 in fight week incentive, and nearly a million dollars in pay-per-view revenue based on an estimated $750,000 buys for a total of $1,417,000. And the new women's flyweight champion Alexa Grasso took home $125,000 guaranteed, $32,000 in fight week incentive, along with a 50k performance of the night bonus, for a total of $207,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, the man many call the GOAT, Johnny Bones Jones, defeated Ciro Gan by guillotine choke at 2 minutes and 4 seconds of the first round. Many questions were quickly answered as to how Jones would fare at the heavier weight class and after a three-year layoff. Prior to the fight, Jones stated that his pay was one of the factors in him moving up to heavyweight. You know, you see these guys, Deontay Wilder, and you see all these athletes, you know, who are not absolute legends, you know, like these guys were right around my level, been competing right around the same time, but these guys got these Ferraris and private jets in there, and I'm, and I'm just like, like, how can I get there? You know what I mean? And, and I just started to realize that I needed to bump up. That's what the fans wanted to see the whole time. It's like, maybe that's where my, my big money fights are going to be. And um, I just decided to, to make the leap. Gone took home a guaranteed $400,000, along with $32,000 in fight week incentive pay. And as a former interim champion, it's possible he could have received pay-per-view points for this fight. If so, I'm estimating a little under $500,000 for a total of $919,500. Meanwhile, the former light heavyweight and new heavyweight champion John Jones earned a $2 million base salary, $32,000 in fight week incentive, along with a performance of the night bonus, and just under $3 million in pay-per-view revenue, coming out to a total of $5,007,000. That's all for this episode. The Nevada State Athletic Commission does not release MMA payout information, so the totals I've shown in this video are just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent videos.